Greetings fellow Kerbonauts! Nerdy Spaceman here and for yet another installment of a Beginner's Guide to Kerbal Space Program. In this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to send in another science lab to Minmus this time. So yay! We're going to do another science lab. We're going to have two of them rocking at the same time. First things first, let's get some new scientists. We got Anvi, Anvi Kerman, okay. And Roy N. Kerman. Wow, she is very stupid and not very courageous. Okay, whatever. I like my scientists a little dumb. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that. And geez, both of these are pretty dumb. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, so, got our scientists. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my science lab and throw them in there. And they're actually max level. Don't let this fool you here. It's just part of the game. Usually they start you off at zero level scientists, but they're actually max level, but this is science mode, so that's still good. I'm going to go ahead and launch. Oh, no, that's not what I want. That is not what I want at all. I've got, I've got Bill in here. I don't want Bill. I want Bill at all. I want Valentina, because she's actually a pilot. Let's see here. Uh, not Bill. Valentina. She's a pilot. got to keep things, gotta keep things uh, copacetic here. I want to have a, a pilot in each of these things because that's the whole point. You're going to fly these things. An engineer can't fly. Actually, they can. This is science mode. But, you know, let's let's try to keep things fun, <laughs> shall we? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this so um, you guys can see it in a quicker time because it's going to take a while. So, just like the previous video, I was able to launch um, very high angle so that, you know, get enough speed into my aircraft and pull out of the atmosphere faster. Um, got the little uh, craft to tip over, got the uh, apoapsis to where I wanted it to be. From there set my maneuver node, waited to get to it, waited to get out of the atmosphere, opened up my solar panels and punched it. I ran out of fuel right before, oh, I actually had enough fuel left over to fix my inclination first. Um, did my inclination and I had just enough fuel in that stage to fix the inclination and I was just with this, the science lab left over. So got to the maneuver node and started going for it. Got to it and actually aligned it so that I was like pretty much on top of the place. Uh, on top of Minmus. I was actually going to hit. So I did a uh, radial to pull myself away and then I did normal to normalize my orbit so that I or anti-normal so I could do that. And then I put the science lab into orbit, fixed it a little bit so it was more inclined, changed it to a space station, and got my second spaceship ready, the, the lander with Bob in it, Bob the scientist. Again, same launch profile, except for I got a little happy with, you know, with the gravity turn, because it's a very powerful rocket, and I might have gone a little far, get a little bit of a re-entry effects going for that, so, you know, whatever. I survived. It's all good. I had to wait to get out of the atmosphere, tilted the rocket to any B, did my final burn with the last stage. And there we go. Aligned it, set my maneuver node so I can check the inclination, make sure I'm inclined the right way. Burned, quick burn for that. Aligned it up and set it off. Had to flip almost all the way around the planet before I could do the burn. Kept going. And actually, when I ran out of fuel, I was, or when I was at the right angle, I was pretty much again going to intercept Minmus, which is ridiculous twice in a row. That's pretty crazy. So again, I have to do radial and then uh, normal to orient it to the right direction. Then retrograde, put myself into orbit, and then I did a little bit of normal and anti-normal adjustment so I could get to one of these planes here in the sun, so I could at least land in the sunlight. Then I turned around, landed it several steps of just slowing myself down as I was getting there and then I was waited to see my shadow and the lights, ditched the bottom stage and brought it down for a smooth landing. Popped off, grabbed all my science that I needed to grab as well as planting a flag. This flew over there, flew up and I flew up too high at first so I had to actually point down a little bit but then went east and then north, it's about almost 45 for the majority of it, try to reduce the distance between those two, and there it is, that's about as close as I could get those points, and then from there I turned to target mode and reduced radially, until I got pretty much right on top of them, reduced my speed, pointed at the other guy, 
and then started going for it. Rotated a little bit here and then docked. Transferred all of the science over to the science lab and back, we're back again. And then started uploading all the science bit by bit into the station. Now these, because it's farther away from Kerbin, they're actually worth more data. It used these same effects were worth more data. So I wasn't instead of having just one left over with 150 data to upload, I had a couple of them left over that I still needed to upload. But that's all right. It means more science in the long run. There it is. So I pretty much just did a rough burn because I had so much extra fuel left. Turn it around did the uh, burning off of the extra fuel. I still have fuel left over afterwards. I pretty much was just burned it just to slow down. Detached and re-entered the atmosphere. Waited till it was safe to deploy. I discovered I can collect some science. I was missing a science. It looks like a crew report was missing from the flight. It was strange, but I collected the science anyways. Alright, so... We came back from our adventure, and it looks like we collected some signs, some crew reports while flying over the highlands. How nifty is that? Also, some transmitted signs was also sent back to us. Well, that's good. We got Kerbin back. Now, I can go to the tracking station, and it's been a long time in game since I visited the moon station. So I can actually go ahead and fly this, and it's done. It's been hanging out here for quite some time. Moon Science Lab, and it is almost full of science. Look at that; it's 400 out of 500, and still got plenty of data still to go. So what I can do now is I can actually transmit this science, and it's going to start the transmission. It's going to open up the antenna. There we go. And it's going to start transmitting all of that science, a whole bunch of science. You can see it's going to be draining a lot of electricity. That's all right because we've got a lot of science to research or a lot of science to transmit. Hopefully, I have the batteries for it. Wow, that's kind of scary. Almost okay. Yeah, I should be fine. Yeah, I should be fine. Close, but I'm fine. There we go, and it resets the science back down to zero again. And meanwhile, my batteries can start charging back up again, which is good. And I transmitted 400 and change science back to Kerbin. And I've still got 300 science to go, so that's awesome. I'll go ahead and review the data, and I have, do I have room for 150? Doing the math here, no I don't. So I have to wait to get this data a little bit lower before I can upload this. But the other ones here, they're all still here and ready to go. So once I, trans once I upload the data to the science lab, I'll be able to fly out here and pick up the old data and be able to use that for transferring in purposes later. That's great. So I'm going to leave this thing to recharge its batteries. Let me see here if I can. There we go. Give me another solar panel. There we go. I'll get these solar panels out here to charge this thing faster. Okay, so that's good. we go back to the Space Center. And what I can do is I can also... Um, check up on the Minmus one. So we're gonna go to here. Uh, where is our Minmus lab? There it is. Now it hasn't been out there for too long, but it, it Minmus is very far away, and it gives me a lot more science. So I wasn't actually able to upload all of the experiments to it, but that's quite all right. And I'm gonna point this towards the sun. There we go charge up your batteries get ready because we're about to transmit some science 162 and change that's not not bad not bad at all so I'm gonna go ahead and transmit that science because why not science is science right it's gonna upload that data it's not that much and here we go and it is uploaded and sent away good stuff Okay, 162 science. Not bad at all. I'm going to review the data here. And let's see if I've got room for anything small that I can fit. 62? Ah, oh, not enough room. 40? I have room for 40. So I can go ahead and upload that. So I'm topping off my data, which is good. 
right here the data I'm topping it off adding some signs to it there it is and this is lucky for us 100% transmit so I'll be able to transmit it as well so I got a little bit of extra signs I think an extra 30 some signs there it is 32 signs perfect keep all of these okay and keep that one and keep that one alright perfect for us excellent so the data is stored and safely put away this thing is now charging its batteries because it's coming up into the sun and now we can go back to the space center and let's see how much we've collected just from that minmus trip just for setting up the space station while the other one was running we were able to collect a whole bunch of science look at that we've got 834 science awesome how freaking cool is that we're just multiplying our science like crazy anyways this was a lot of fun and that's all I'm gonna do for this episode so I'll see you later this is nerdy spaceman stay safe and fly far